Hey, welcome back to Daily Hope. Yesterday was a long one. I'm going to try to make today short, okay? But I've got actually a really good question for you. Have you ever had someone come to you and said, hey, I have a word from the Lord about this or that? Now, depending on what kind of church you have been shaped by, you may have one or two responses. You might say, oh, yippee, a word from the Lord. What is it? Or you might say, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't believe in words from the Lord. The only word I need is the Bible. Now, what does the Bible say about all this? Well, our verse today, verse 20 says this. It says, do not scoff at prophecies. So a prophecy would be someone saying, hey, I was praying for you, and I just had this sense you're supposed to, um, you know, have a small group in your home or, you know, whatever. So, something, someone coming to you. Now, you want to stay away from manipulative people who use God to say, hey, I was praying and God said you're supposed to give all your money to me, you know? <laughs> now, that's probably not lining up with scripture, but be sensitive. If it's a person who is biblical and they're spirit-led and they come to you and say, hey, I think God gave me something for you, should you listen to it? Well, verse 20 says, don't scoff at that kind of conversation but, verse 21, here's the important thing. Test everything that is said. Um, God will never give me or anyone else a prophecy or a word from him that contradicts scripture. So the most important thing is to know the word of God because it's through the word of God that he speaks to us. And um, even if you believe that he could uh, send a word your way through another Bible-believing Christian, some Christians don't believe that, some Christians do, I'm not here to fight about that. But if you do believe that he could speak to you through others, make sure that you're applying this verse. Test everything that is said. Hold on to what is good. Uh, hold on to what is good. My grandpa used to say, chew the meat and spit out the bones, right? Sometimes people will come to me and they'll say, hey, God told me to tell you this. And um, when that happens, I usually pray for discernment that God will help me test it. And I'll be honest, a lot of times, um, I don't know that it was God. That's up to him, not me. But a lot of times I'm like, yeah, that seems like that's something they're called to do and they want me to do it for them. And so I'll encourage them. Sounds like God's asking you to go do that thing. But test everything that is said, hold on to what is good. So when those conversations happen, I have to be asking God, Holy Spirit, is this from you? Does this align with your word, with your calling on my life? And there have been times the people said, hey, God told me to tell you something. And as I've prayed about it, I'm like, you know what? Uh, Lord, I, th I think that was from you. Whether, whether that person, it was from you or not, I know it aligns with scripture and I receive it with humility because it aligns with scripture. If it doesn't align with scripture, spit it out like the bones of a fish that you're eating. If it does align with scripture, let it go down in and nourish you as you obey God and his word. So don't scoff at prophecies, test everything that is said, hold on to what is good. 1 Thessalonians 5, 20 and 21. See you tomorrow.